Imagine if the moon disappeared when you weren't looking at it. Doesn't sound believable, right? Well, now imagine the moon communicating with distant planets in space by exceeding the speed of light. That sounds pretty crazy too. It sounds crazy because our experience tells us that the universe is locally real. To understand the term local reality, let's take a look at what we mean by locality and reality separately. When we say real, it means that objects have certain properties independent of the observer. When we say local, it means that objects can only be affected by the objects around them. And this effect cannot exceed the speed of light. Everything we know about locality and reality changes when we reduce the universe to quantum objects. Quantum physics research, on the other hand, shows that without being measured, quantum objects do not have certain properties and are not only affected by their environment. In other words, quantum objects are not locally real. And when the universe is reduced to quantum objects, it is not locally real either. Three scientists were awarded the 2022 Nobel Prize in Physics for proving these theoretical claims with experiments. John Clauser, Alan Aspect, and Anton Zeilinger. How did these three scientists come to the level with experiments to prove these radical claims of quantum theory, which radically changed our thoughts about the universe? To answer this question, we will have to go back a bit. In their 1935 papers, Einstein, Boris Podolsky, and Nathan Rosen discussed the disturbing implications of quantum theory for reality. Their analysis, known by its initials EPR, aimed to demonstrate quantum mechanics absurdity. For this, they tried to show that this theory contradicted everything we know about reality. EPR simply consists of a thought experiment. Pairs of particles are sent in different directions from a common source to two observers, Alice and Bob located at opposite ends of the solar system. Quantum mechanics says that the spin properties of quantum particles cannot be known without measuring them. When Alice measures one of the particles, she finds out whether the spin of that particle is up or down. As Alice measures her particle up, she knows that Bob's particle has to be down, even though she knows her result is random. Maybe the particles are like a pair of gloves. If Alice takes the right glove, Bob should take the left glove. But according to quantum mechanics, particles are not like pairs of gloves. They just settle up or down when measured. If Alice's particles lack a spin until measurement, how does Bob's particle at the other end of the solar system know what to do? The probability of this alignment being random is very unlikely. Alice's particles behave as if they are telepathically attached to Bob's particles. According to quantum mechanics, nature is not locally real. Particles do not have up and down properties before being measured and they communicate with each other regardless of distance. These physicists, who are skeptical of quantum physics, suggest that there should be hidden variables containing information about a particle's future state, existing at an imperceptible level of reality below the subatomic realm. They hope that the local reality of nature which had been rejected by quantum mechanics, could be restored with the hidden variable theory. In 1964, Bell developed a theorem that drove the problem of hidden variables onto the concrete experimental ground. 
Bell discovered that inconsistencies can arise between hidden variable theories and quantum mechanics under certain conditions. In the Bell test, an evolution of the EPR thought experiment, Alice and Bob received the same paired particles, but each now has two different detector settings, a capital A and a small a, a capital B and a small b. These detector settings allow Alice and Bob to ask different questions to the particles. This is a trick developed to eliminate the apparent telepathy between particles. In local hidden variable theorems, where states are predetermined and nothing connects them, particles cannot handle this extra step. But in quantum mechanics, particles are much more interrelated than in local hidden variable theories. Therefore, multiple measurements of the correlation for many pairs of particles can prove which theory is correct. If the correlation falls below a limit derived from Bell's theorem, this indicates that the hidden variables are real. If the correlation exceeds Bell's limit, then the mind-blowing principles of quantum mechanics will prevail. In 1967, John Clauser, then a graduate student at Columbia University, accidentally stumbled upon a library copy of Bell's paper and was fascinated by the prospect of proving hidden variable theories correct. With Bell's encouragement, Clauser performed the first Bell test five years later. The result was not very conclusive due to various loopholes in the experiment that could allow the effect of hidden variables to go undetected. The locality loophole was the most worrisome. If the photon source or detectors could somehow share information, the resulting measured correlations could still emerge from hidden variables. Closing the loophole is theoretically simple, but very difficult to perform. The detector setting has to be changed quickly as the photons are in motion in just nanoseconds. In 1976, Alan Aspect, a young French optician, proposed a path for this ultra-fast transition. But even Aspect's experiment did not completely eliminate local effects, as it took place at such a short distance. Finally, in 1998, Austrian physicist Anton Zeilinger and his team improved on Aspect's earlier work by performing a Bell test at a then unprecedented distance of about half a kilometer. In 2017, a team including Zeilinger performed a cosmic bell test. The team used telescopes on the Canary Islands to gather data for its arbitrary detector settings from stars that were spaced far enough away in the sky, guaranteeing a gap of centuries in their shared cosmic past. Thus, quantum mechanics once again proved its victory. A hidden variable theory was a serious challenge to the claims of quantum mechanics. This challenge paved the way to prove the radical and bizarre claims of quantum mechanics about reality by experiment. Every experiment performed resulted in a victory for quantum mechanics. As a result of all this, we can now look at the universe from a different perspective. Based on Victoria's experiments, we accept the radical claim that the entire universe is not locally real when reduced to quantum objects. <laughs>